Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me for today's chair yoga session. We're going to be focusing on gently stretching and relieving tension in the hips, the lower back and the legs. Um, it's suitable for beginners, seniors, feel free to move at your own pace and enjoy this lovely stretch. So, sitting on your chair, remember uh, if you've done yoga, chair yoga with me before, you sit forward slightly so don't lean back into your chair, sit sturdily on it but sitting forward because you want a nice straight back we're going to start in seated mountain pose so shoulders down away from your ears nice straight back that's it big smile on your face remember to breathe in and out through your nose that's it just close your eyes and just take a couple of nice deep breaths here really feel how straight your back is your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears and slowly open your eyes. Sitting up nice and tall in seated mountain pose. So we're going to start with cat cow. So keeping your hands on your knees, we're going to round the back and tuck the chin. So bringing those elbows forward and then slowly inhale up, opening your chest, drawing the shoulders back. So back and forth, you're rounding into cat pose and then inhaling into cow. So drawing the shoulders back, you're getting a stretch in the neck and the throat. Exhale, cat pose. So just go with your breath here. You exhale when you're in cat and you inhale. Let's do one more set. So rounding the back. The cat. And then inhale. The cow. And back to a neutral spine. Sitting up nice and tall. So we're going to keep, make the feet sort of hip width apart, keeping the hands on the knees. We're going to do some hip circles, so it's all about the hips and the lower back and the legs. So we're going to do circles. So we're going to do eight one way. And then when you've done eight that way, back the other way. Remember, you can make these as big as you like. Don't fall off your chair, obviously, but just get that body moving. So you're, you're literally warming up those hips, loosening up those hips. And one more circle. And back. To mountain. So again, sitting up nice and tall in between, make sure you sit up nice and tall. And we're going to do uh, some knee to chest, so knee lifts really. So uh, sitting same spot, sort of close to the edge, but not right on the edge, sort of, but you're not leaning back against the chair. We're going to inhale that right leg up and hug it up to our chest. So make sure that you're not sort of rounding your back and sinking into your shoulders. Remember to keep that back nice and straight. Remember not to hold your breath. And then lower that leg to the floor. And we'll do the other side. Inhale, left leg up. So you're kind of lifting your chest up rather than rounding into it. That's it. So getting this, this thigh and the hip, everything loosened up and release. Lift the right leg, inhale, hug it in, each time you do it, it feels a little bit better, and release, left side, inhale up, hug it in, and again, just, just keep that awareness of keeping your back straight, don't let your back round, and don't lean back either, lift your chest up, that's it, and release. Inhale the right leg up, 
set. And down. Left leg. That's it. Up to your chest. You can feel it getting closer to your chest each time you lift it. Lower down. Right leg up. So bring that leg up. Bring that knee up to the chest as much as you can. And lower down. And the left side. Inhale up. Lifting that chest. And down. And that is going to help us with our next pose, which is figure four pose. So we're going to inhale that right knee up again. So hug it, bring it up as close as you can, and then grab that right foot with your left hand and bring it onto your knee. So you've got the figure four pose. So you hold on to that foot and you just apply very, very gentle pressure to that knee. So just lifting up and just gently folding forward. So you don't have to push down too hard. You can feel that stretch in the hip without pushing at all. So whatever works for you, remember, listen to your body. Go at your own pace. That's it. So it's a really deep stretch in the hip. Breathing into that hip joint. And slowly release to the floor. And we're going to do the other side. It's so going to inhale that left leg up. So again, bring it up as high as you can. And grab that foot with your right hand. Hold on to that foot. And again, if it's comfortable, sit up nice and tall. Just gently lean forward, a little bit of pressure. If that's comfortable, as I say, even just leaning forward, just resting your hand, you can feel that, that hip opening up. Obviously, if it's painful, just sit up straight and also modify, have the foot lower down, you know, make it work for you. But gradually, you'll get those hips nice and flexible. And release. Okay, we're going to do a forward bend now. So sitting up nice and tall, remember, in your mountain pose, nice straight back. Inhale your hands up. So bringing the palms facing forward, just coming forward with a flat back. Then bring your chest down onto your thighs. Your hands can come down to wherever's comfortable for you. On your feet, on the floor, you can have a block. Whatever works for you. Just lovely stretched down the back body. And then Use your hands on your knees to inhale as you come back up nice and slow. And then we're going to inhale those arms up again. Inhale up. And exhale down. Okay. We are now going to get into a warrior sequence. So we have opened up the hips. This is going to open them up even more. So we're going to Bring those legs out either side. We're going to do the right side first. So turn to your right and bring the crook of that knee back to the edge of the chair. The chair is supporting you. The back foot, the left foot facing forward. And make that foot, it wants to lift. So push the foot down into the, to the mat. As soon as you do that, you'll get a stretch here. So down the front of that, that left hip flexor. And stretch out those arms. This is warrior two. So really, really stretching out the arms. And we're going to go into side angle. So we're going to bring that front forearm on top of the thigh and the left arm alongside your ear. Reaching over as much as you can, getting a really nice side body stretch here. Keep breathing. That's it. And then inhale back. So back to warrior two, remember those arms, they feel like someone's pulling them in opposite directions, really stretch them up to the shoulders. And then we're gonna take the back hand down the back leg and reach up with the right hand as much as you can. Don't strain. That's it. And back to warrior two, 
stretching the arms and then we're going to bring both arms to the front and just lean forward as much as you can don't strain keep breathing and then inhale back back to warrior two stretching those arms and those hips remember pressing those feet those back that little toe on that back foot into the mat and lower down and we'll do the other side a shift in the body so in that chair to the edge so take that foot back then turn it out foot facing forward press those back toes into the mat stretch out those arms you can feel that lovely stretch there it's really wonderful for the hips into your warrior two nice big stretch across the arms and shoulders as well although we are focusing on the lower part of the body okay into side angle so that front forearm comes on top of your thigh and your right arm alongside your ear you're rolling that shoulder back so everything is aligned that's it big stretch here keep breathing and slowly inhale back so back to your warrior two stretch those arms and then reverse so the back hand comes down and the left hand comes up again you can feel that stretch down the front of that right leg and that front of that thigh hip and slowly back back to warrior two stretch those arms and then bring both arms forward and just reach a little tiny bit not too much just reaching forward and come back to the side and lower down come back and come to the edge of the mat sitting up nice and tall opening up those hips take a big breath in exhale and look over your left shoulder bring your right shoulder forward keep breathing and then very slowly come back to the front and over to the other side keep breathing and back to the front inhale your hands up stretch out your legs and your feet as much as you can big stretch here and then lower back walk those legs all the way back in and we're going to get into our seated pigeon so again sitting up nice and tall back nice and straight same as we did with the figure four this is just similar very similar pose just a slight difference so we're going to bring that right knee up again and hug it in and we're going to pop that foot on the knee so the right foot on the left knee and this time we're just going to use that right hand to just gently sort of twist at the same time so you, as you do that you're feeling a stretch in the hip but only as much as is good for you so it's not not a twist as such it's just an opening for that hip and thigh keep breathing and release release that leg we'll do the other side so inhale left knee up hug it in hug it to the body bring that left foot on top of your right knee that's it so where before we pushed gently down on that this time we're going to grab that foot and just push on the back of that foot on the bottom of that foot I should say and you can feel an opening release both feet to the floor I'm going to do a, a nice hamstring stretch now so 
again, making sure that you're nice and stable on your chair, stretch out that right leg with the toes up. So have a really good stretch in the leg. You're engaging that thigh, so your hamstring release there, back. And just lean forward on that bent knee. That's it, so imagine you can, if you can reach it, you can grab the toe if you wish, just to increase that stretch, or you can just press that foot up. That's it. And release. Other side. Same again, engage the thigh, foot, toes coming towards you. And as soon as you lean forward, you can feel that stretch at the back of the leg. I love a hamstring stretch. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. We're going to lift that right leg up. So we're going to straighten the leg. And we're just going to do some ankle circles. Back the other way. Make sure that you're not rounding your back or sinking into your chest. Sit up nice and tall, remember? Remember that posture? And lower down, we're going to do the other side. Left foot out, ankle circles. Back the other way. Just do as many of these as you can. Remember, you can build up. If you can only do a couple, it's fine. And with practice, you will be able to do more. Okay, progress. Progress over perfection, that's what's important. So now we're going to do a spinal twist. So we're gonna cross our legs, cross that right knee over the left. Take the left hand onto that right knee, grab the back of your chair. Take a nice big breath in and lift out of your lower back. And then exhale as you roll, well roll, roll your right shoulder back and look over your right shoulder. So you're getting a stretch across the chest, but you're also getting that wonderful spinal twist. And you're helping your hips by having that leg crossed. So you can use as much pressure as you like with that. Just gentle pressure, obviously, but just lifting out of the lower back. That's it. And release. Both legs down, other side, so left leg crosses over the right, take that left hand behind, grab the back of your chair, okay, again lift up, straighten the back, exhale, open to the left, so the left shoulder goes back, you're looking over the left shoulder, and you're not holding your breath, opening the chest, Wonderful for the spine and the lower back and the hips. And release. Coming back to the front, we're gonna sit up nice and tall and we're gonna finish this little session with ragdoll. So we're gonna inhale the hands up and grab the elbows. And we're just gonna let the weight of the elbows Draw you down. So you're going to bring your chest down towards your thighs. You're going to let your head hang. And you're just going to rest here. You can come down as low as is good for you. Firmly press those feet into the floor. And just hang here. And then we're going to roll up nice and slow. Inhale as you come up. Keep those elbows clasped together. Inhale up. And release the hands up in the air. Bring them down. Hands on the knees. And we're just going to take a couple of deep breaths here. Close your eyes. Sitting up nice and tall. Just be aware of your breath. Inhale. Exhale, in and out through the nose. And 
And we're going to take one more breath in, open your eyes. We're going to inhale the hands up for the cleansing breath. So in through the nose, hands together and exhale through the mouth as you bring them down. To your heart center, palms together. And namaste. And that was our chair yoga session for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you um, feel more relaxed, your hips are feeling strong but relaxed and open. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you thought. So please feel free to leave me a comment and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye.